What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jordan here. Have you ever been inside of a community, inside of a program or inside of a course where you see people getting amazing, amazing results or you see people progressing and always getting better, right? But you yourself feel stuck, right? Maybe you feel like you're just not moving forward. Maybe you just feel like, why are other people getting results and I'm not, right? Maybe you feel like everything that you do is actually just recreating the past. And you're getting the same results day in, day out. And you're, you might actually be doing pretty okay for yourself, but you're trying to get to that next level. And you just feel like something is kind of holding you back, right? Well, in this video, I want to help you understand why that may be. And also give you tools to really be able to start to change that for yourself. And this is not a new tactic and not a new strategy. It's really just a reframing of how you see things so that you can really start creating the business and the life that you want, okay? So let's get into the th today's session. I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna jump straight into it, okay? I wanna share the concept with you of becoming a visionary, right? Really becoming a visionary, okay? So just to give this a little bit more context, right? We wanna tap into something that probably would, you know, it's a good way to kind of make it make sense for you, right? So it's like, if we think of an old TV screen, right? Maybe you are familiar with this, maybe not depending on your age, but I remember back in the day when I would plug in the TV, and I would wait for signal to come on, right? When I was a kid, I was really, really small. And if I, if I didn't have things plugged in properly, or if I didn't have, you know, the signal connected or the, the satellite thing, maybe it was sky or something like that, right? The TV would come up with this, this kind of distorted signal, okay? And it would come up and it would be all hazy and I wouldn't really be able to understand, you know, what is actually on screen and I wouldn't know how to fix it, right? I was just a kid. And this is the same way our minds work, right? Because if the TV wasn't plugged in, we get a distorted signal, which means we don't pick up things the way we want to actually pick things up, right? And our mind works the exact same way, okay? So the mind works in the same way because what we do when we think about things is we tap into different levels of consciousness, different levels of awareness through frequencies, okay? And if you're familiar with frequencies, for me, frequencies are basically just different planes of consciousness that we can tap into depending on how we feel, the thoughts that we think, and everything that comes with that, okay? Now, if you think about what frequency really is, if this is the first time maybe you're hearing about it, right? Think of your phone, okay? I could call you, you could be on the other side of the world and I can connect with you in a matter of seconds, okay? That's because our phones travel on different frequencies, okay? To, for this to kind of even connect even more with you is like, let's say, for example, right? You start to think thoughts of confidence, thoughts of abundance, thoughts of I can do anything, I believe in myself, right? And you start to... You start to raise your 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 emotions, right? You're, you start to feel better, right? Because your thoughts are connected to your emotions. Your emotions are connected to your actions. Therefore, you start to feel thoughts of confidence, belief in yourself, right? You start to get up and you're like, I can do anything, right? So you take massive action because you feel enthusiastic about what you're doing. You love what you do, right? And then you jump in, you take massive action and your actions actually produce amazing results because of the, the energy that is fueling those actions, right? You think differently. You see opportunities differently. Right? You see, my, my, my tonality has changed since I started talking about this. Right, You start to make content better. <laughs> you know what I mean? You start to really see that you can make a difference in what you're doing. Okay, And that's because I'm really enjoying what I'm doing in this video. But let's say you think about things a little bit, little bit differently. Right? Let's say you feel, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know? I'm not sure if I believe in myself. That would never happen to me. You know, I would never be able to do that. I don't even like saying those things. But you see how my tonality changes right because that's what you start to reflect in your body in the in the thoughts that you you think and in the feelings that you feel right are you going to take massive action if you feel like that probably not but that's because you've tapped into a lower vibration a lower level of frequency which is just going to give you more of what you already got if that's how you've always been feeling okay now we're not going to talk directly about frequency in this video but i needed to be able to frame that for you so the rest of it just makes sense okay because i'm going to give you some actionable steps on how you can really start to use this in your life okay but that's an example of that right and this is also why it's so important to love what you do i had to run an agency for two years and freelance and do all these different crazy marketing things to be able to realize that you know this is not 100% what I wanted to do, but it got me to where I wanted to be. So we want to remember that our mind is like a TV station. If that's one concept that you can remember, just remember that. Our thoughts are like a TV station. We want to connect to different levels of consciousness, okay? Now, of course, the different levels of consciousness that we tap into create our reality because that's what shows up in our day-to-day -day life, okay? So let's just look at this. 
oftentimes we actually mess up the signal ourselves, right? It's not anything external. It's actually ourselves doing this because we focus on the wrong things, okay? Now, if we want to really just look at what actually distorts our signal, it's things like blaming other people, right, for the results that we have in our life or blaming their actions or saying that this person caused me to do this and, you know, you're giving away power from yourself to this other person and that's where you're putting your energy, right? That's going to distort your signal. You're going to feel feelings of lack. You're going to feel feelings of like uh, disempowerment and feeling that you can't really do much about your situation because you blame it on somebody else, right? Also blaming the government or blaming our environment for the results that we get in life. Of course, I am acknowledging that everyone's situation is different, different environments, are, you know, we can't really do much about that if we're born into them, but we do have the power to change them. If you're familiar with my story, I started off in a place where I was just in my bedroom trying my best to really gather these concepts and be able to create my reality. And after eight to nine months of really going hard on all of this stuff and taking massive action and doing the things I needed to do and stepping into that new identity, I was able to create a life where I could have time and location, freedom, travel the world, build my business online. So that was me creating my reality to change my environment okay so that's you know it's not something that is a limitation for you it's just an obstacle and obstacles can be overcome right so the next thing is we believe we're defective in some way and we internalize feelings of not actually being good enough right we, we want to avoid this at all costs because you are not defective there is nothing wrong with you of course there's things you can adjust you can change you can improve we want to grow this is what this channel is all about but we are not defective there's not something wrong with us that we cannot not change okay remember that because you start believing that you're you know, defective in some way is a belief that's just going to stop you from ever creating your reality the way you want to and growing your business the way you want to. Okay, So also compare comparison to others. If you look at someone else's day 100 and can compare it to your day one, obviously you're going to feel you know a, a lack in that sense. right? You're going to feel like, oh, this person is doing so much better than me. They have something that I don't have. That is not the truth. right? There is no difference between you or them. Anybody you look up to online, you can do exactly the same thing right comparison is the thief of joy that is a quote is there for a reason remember do not compare yourself to other people find what you value in life and stay true to those values right every day live in accordance to your values do you value integrity honesty progress right balancing spirituality with also you know the the productivity side of uh, personal development right what do you value define those stay true to them and don't worry about what other people are doing because they have different values than you Right? That's like comparing yourself to someone who has a different worldview than you. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, So try to keep that in mind. Stay off social media when you don't have to. Okay, That brings us to the next thing. Right, So we want to just look at this quote from Joe Dispenza. Right? Joe Dispenza, a very intelligent man when it comes to these things. I get a lot of my teachings from him as well. Amazing guy. Okay, Has some great books as well. So to truly change is to think greater than your environment. Okay, Like I said, environment is always going to be there. It mightn't be exactly the way you want it to be right now but you have the power to change it, okay? But the problem is, and really what I want to get to the root of this video is that, you know, if we look at all of these different um, great minds that have you know, lived throughout this life, right? We have people like Einstein, people like Nikola Tesla, people like Elon Musk, people like Steve Jobs, okay? They all thought greater than their current environment. They all built a clear vision that pulls them towards their purpose, right? They became visionaries, Okay, it's so, so important to have a powerful vision for who you're becoming, right? And the life that you are creating for yourself to be able to pull you towards that every single day. I get so excited to wake up in the morning because of the vision that I'm building. It blows my mind to think about the time that I'm going to be, you know, at that, that point in my life where I've like accomplished the majority of the things that I want to accomplish, right? That really, really, really excites me. But that came from building a powerful vision in the process, okay? So if you accept your current environment as your reality, you will struggle to see past what you're capable of today, okay? Now, the reason I mentioned this is because this comes back to what I mentioned in the beginning of this video. If you are getting the same results day in, day out, month after month, and you see other people excelling, other people making uh, amazing progress, now, of course, there is that gestation period where, you know, you might be taking massive action today and you see the results months down the line that's always uh, you know a possibility as well but if this has been consistent for you and you haven't really been able to see the changes and growth that you want to see a lot of it comes down to the fact that you could actually be focusing on the past and focusing too much on the things that are going wrong and not having that powerful vision to be able to pull you forward right which means that you are recreating the past you're focused on the past okay because if you look at different struggles right let me just let me just 
blow this up for a second, right? If you look at the different struggles that you've had along your business journey, okay, and you keep seeing the same things repeated over and over again, but all of your focus goes on that. And then you're worried about what if I can't get my next client or what if I what if I don't hit my goals and you're focused on how that feels, right? You are recreating a past and a recreating a reality that is not going to be in your favor, right? And this is where so many entrepreneurs struggle and where I struggled for a long time as well because I was so focused on what's happening today, what's going wrong today and how did this go in the past? And if I take this action, it's just going to be a repeat of what happened before. And that stopped me from actually getting results because I wasn't focused on the vision. I wasn't focused on where I was going. I was focused on a reality and creating a reality that I did not want, okay? So hopefully that's starting to make sense for you. Let's jump back to this, okay? So if the problem is that we're focused so much on the current circumstances or maybe past circumstances that keep us in the same vicious loop, then how can we change this, right? Well, the problem is we're focusing on the past. So what if we focused on the future? What if we remembered our future, right? And a lot of this comes back to leveraging all right, our higher faculties, okay? As human beings, we are not the same as animals. A lot of people, We'll look at external environment and focusing on using those things to like to understand the world that we live in. As human beings, we have these things called higher faculties, okay, which is our imagination, our intuition, our memory, our will, and our reason, okay? These higher faculties separate us from animals. So if these things separate us from animals, then why are, not, are more, more people just not using them? Well, because a lot of people don't understand how to use them. We're going to talk about one specifically in this video, which is memory, okay? So if we're constantly remembering the past and then that is recreating into our daily life, this means that what if we change this and we start remembering our future? At the end of the day, all of our memory is just a series of images and feelings that we remember from our past. We know them to be true. We are set in the belief that they do exist. Okay, but the thing is, and this is um, this is profound, so really listen up to this. The thing is, our mind does not know what is real and what is imaginary. Okay, and for this to start to make sense to you, if you've ever thought about, you know, um, how do I make this not vulgar, right? Uh, if you've ever thought about getting with your partner or getting with a girl or a guy, right? And you start to feel, you know, a little bit, you know what I mean, right? That is because your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination, right? Something that's imaginary and something that's real, okay? Which means that we can use this to our advantage to recreate a vision of what it's gonna be like when we get to the goal we want to achieve and create our reality and stay focused on that, okay? So how do we do this? Well, we do this through visualization. And just to make this more concrete, visualization is based on neuroscience, right? So your brain actually doesn't know the difference between an experience you actually have or one you vividly remember. So think about a time where you felt embarrassed about something or something happened to you, right? You immediately start to relive those emotions. This is how people keep recreating their past. They basically live there because they keep replaying the same experience in their minds over and over again. And the thing is we attract what's familiar to us. We start to bring into our life what is familiar to us, right? So we wanna start remembering our ideal future so that it becomes a reality. So that when you actually make it, when you actually get to that goal, when you get to that outcome, it's familiar. Any time in my life where I've achieved something where it was either, you know, travel or, you know, adventure related, I guess you could say, or else financial or just something in life and business in general, it felt familiar because I had already lived there in my mind, which was, you know, makes it inevitable that it's going to form into reality. Okay. To bring this all together, what we want to do is we want to focus on the goal, the outcome that we are trying to create at all times. Specifically, when these emotions come up that are trying to bring us back to the past or trying to, you know, remind us that we're not good enough or we can't do this or, you know, you've never done this before, so you should stay where you are. Those are just challenges. Those, those are just your old identity trying to bring you back to where you currently are. It's the ego trying to keep you f with things that are familiar. We will always attract things that are familiar to us. OK, so if we can make it the goal to make our future and our goal and the outcome, we want to make that familiar to us by visualizing, by being able to be in the moment of when that actually happens. How does it feel to achieve your goal? What is it like to really be in that moment? Well, who's around you, right? Do you have a different social circle, right? How do you feel? How are you, how are you dressed? Do you act differently, right? All of these different things, we want to remember them as if they are reality and stay focused on that at all times, because that means that you are going to think like that person Right? You will start making decisions like that person. You will start to see opportunities like that person. Okay? 
We will start to bring things into our life because they are familiar to us, because they've already been created in your mind. And remember, your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination. So that means you can really start to create your reality. This is one of many ways to do this. And, you know, if you have questions on this, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. What, what are the kind of things that are coming up for you? Right? Do you have questions on this? Do you have insights or any breakthroughs that happened along the way through what, throughout watching this video? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. Okay. But what you want to do is you want to focus on creating your future, building a powerful vision that is compelling to you and staying focused on that at all times, no matter what is happening in your current life right now. Right? Because all the challenges and roadblocks that come up along the way is either going to be your identity, your old identity, holding you back to what's familiar or the universe just challenging you make sure that you really want what you're trying to achieve. It's also another thing, but that's a topic for another video. That brings me to the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. And of course, if you would like to go deeper on these topics, unlock your mind, get unstuck, really grow your business to that next level, and just start leveraging your mind in a way that really benefits you in all areas of life, drop me a message on Instagram. I take on a select number of clients every single month to work one-on-one -on -one with to go deep on these different things. So send me a message over there and we can have a quick conversation to see if it's a fit for us both. But other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.